In this video, we'll learn how to slice audio in various ways and send the resulting pieces to Omnisampler as well as Mixcraft's performance panel. We will now learn how to mix, whip, puree, stir, grind, cream, mince, blend, shred, beat, frappe, chop, liquefy, or grate audio. I'm going to begin by dragging an entire song into Mixcraft. This is an MP3 file, and I'm just dragging and dropping from Windows Explorer. First, I'll double click to open it in the sound window, and then I'll use the warp function to have Mixcraft find all the beats in it. So I'm going to press warp. And now you can see all the little lines where all the beats have been detected. And now that we've got our song sliced, I'm going to move the start point to the very first beat. So that's the loop start right there, and this is the actual song start point. I'm going to move this over here. This ensures we won't hear any of the silence right here when we play our first sample. Next, we'll export the slices to OmniSampler by clicking the Slice To button over here. And since we want four bar chunks, I'm going to click this, and I'm going to select Measures. And I'm going to put this on four measures. And I've got the No Slices Before Measure 1 box clicked, which is usually a good idea. This means we won't get any silent chunks over here. And over here we can select the destination of where the slices are sent to. So I'm going to click Omni Sampler. And when this is set to New, it means that Mixcraft will create a brand new instance of Omni Sampler. If you already had one or more Omni Samplers in the project, you could select which one it's sent to. But for now, we'll just stick with a new one. And this start at box over here lets you define which MIDI note number the first sample begins at inside OmniSampler. And here it tells you how many slices will be created. So let's hit OK. And a new OmniSampler is opened. And you can see the samples filling in here. And I'm going to click up here so I can see the very first one. There's the first one right there. And you can hear any of these samples by clicking the little play buttons. And of course you can play the individual samples from a MIDI keyboard controller. Now if you notice, these have a pretty long decay time, and the reason for that is because OmniSampler defaults to a long decay time because you're often importing drums into it and you want to hear the entire drum sound. But in this case, I want to be able to play the sounds in an on-off fashion, so I want zero release. So I can turn down the release knob over here. But if I do that, this release parameter right here is only going to affect this one sample here, and I'd have to set it individually for every one of these. And that's kind of a drag, so instead, I'm going to click the global button over here, and you'll see this whole section turns yellow. And this means that any control movement you do here is going to affect every sample inside of OmniSampler. So let's turn that down to zero. And now when I play the keyboard, it instantly stops when I let my finger off the key. Let's record a little remix action here. When you do something like this, it's probably a good idea to quantize it. So let's hit MIDI Edit, Quantize, and we'll quantize to 16th notes. And hit OK. You can see these shift. And let's listen to it. Next, I'd like to show how to export the same slices to Mixcraft's performance panel. So we can start by clicking on the performance panel right here to display it. And I'm going to hit the Slice 2 button, but this time instead of Omni Sampler, I'm going to click Performance Panel. And there's no parameters you need to select here. It'll just take our 24 slices and horizontally make sets out of them. So let's hit OK. And let's close this window. So here we have a set for each slice. And I can view more of the sets by sliding this over here. I'm going to hit the Solo button so we don't hear the original track playing when I hit Play. And I can start playing. And then I can select another one. It makes crap waits for the countdown period, one bar. And here I've created a new audio track, and I can, for example, go into the library and grab a beat and throw it in, and we can listen to all that together. There are a lot of ways you can use slicing to break up audio in small or large chunks. And one thing I want to show is how to take a drum loop and break it up into its individual parts and then send each hit into OmniSampler so you can make your own beats with the sounds. And I'm just going to take this down to one bar because all of its sounds play within that one bar. And then I'll double click this and I'll hit warp. Then I'll hit slice two. 
and we're going to set this to transients. And this slider over here sets the sensitivity, so we'll set this to 75%. And again, I'll choose Omni Sampler, and I'll hit OK. So let's try this out on my MIDI keyboard controller. You can also slice directly to a track in Mixcraft's main window. The slices will export to whatever the currently selected track is, so here I've created a blank track, and I'm going to select that, and I'll put the carrot on one, so I'll hit slice two, and I'm going to use four measures again, and this is set to four, and I'm going to choose track over here, and when I press OK, you can see the chunks land over here. I can resize these or cut them up however I like. Take 